Hey, how you doing? It's Trader Joe's. I'm doing another video here today on um, my EDC. Um, I've been using this bag a couple of weeks now. Uh, I used to use it years and years ago when I was um, um, a meter reader for my... Uh, I worked for a utility company and I was a meter reader and um, I used to bring my bring this bag to work and have my tools that I would use for the job and then also um, a lunch and stuff like that and it's, it's a pretty good size because it's not that big and uh, it has an ability to so the, the back is, is padded and then there's these uh, straps that can come around and you can wrap it around your waist and you could use it like a big waist pouch if you wanted to I never really used it for that but um, I guess I would consider this a fag bag uh, I'm not sure what company that is. They make uh, they make a number of different uh, items. Uh, I think they're nature related. You know, like uh, I don't know. If, I can't remember the name. I, I remember I used to know what it was, but I can't remember it now. Um, it's a nice bag. You know, it's uh, it's kind of it's it's padded, and it's got um, these snaps come off. And there's um, let's see inside here. There's uh, big, another compartment back here with the, the zippered area with some mesh and you can hang your key in, keys in there and stuff like that so you can see through it if you needed to if you put something in there uh, it's got two other uh, mesh pouches in the front here uh, so this is maybe it's 10 years old at least so I doubt they still make it but I'm sure there's something similar there's a zippered area here uh, it's got a main compartment here uh, with a handle on top. I used to just carry it with this. It's got a strap too, which makes it convenient. Um, I keep my wallet in here. Uh, let's see. Here's the, uh, the bag that the camera that you're viewing this from is uh, usually stored in. Keep that in here as well. I got my, um, for my iPod. I have a, let's see, I'll put this aside now. My, I have an iPod Touch. It's fourth generation. Uh, it's got a Zag skin on it, a Zag covering on it. Looks like um, it's a stick-on thing. Uh, this, this is the one with the camera in it. Um, the covering looks like as if it's uh, carbon fiber, just a sticker, basically. And then there's a uh, screen protector on there. I probably should be. I should have cleaned it before I did this, but you know. So it's my my iPod. Um, I use it at work for my music. Um, I, I can do some videos on it with that. Uh, you know, I have all my, my different apps and stuff like that that I have. You know, so it's it's a good good tool to have. You know, it has a lot of different functionality. Uh, I have a the cover the cover I have for it. It's from a company called Set, uh, Saddleback Leather. Uh, a lot of the uh, knife forms, a lot of a lot of the guys seem to have this, so. I went out and got one too, and I'm, I'm glad I did. It's, it's very nice. Uh, it's got like a, the inside is like a, I don't know if you can see it with this light. It's like a, like a pig, uh, pig leather inside it, and it's like cow leather outside here. So it, it's, uh, I think it's called a gadget pouch. It's got an area here you can even connect your, your charger in there. And, you know, it stays in there nice and secure, you know, unless you squeeze it. If you squeeze it, it'll, it'll come out. Uh, but if you don't squeeze it, pretty much will stay in and um, you know you keep it in your, in your pants pocket you know it'll protect it from falls and stuff like that so that's uh, saddleback leather and you know, it's getting a nice patina on it I've had it about a year now um, here's my wallet uh, the I got this from a company called Duluth Trading I'm not sure if they still make this anymore um, this is just a like a key uh, key fob thing I have on there. I got it on eBay. It's from uh, the the PBA. Um, you know, as if it would stop people from getting a ticket, but who knows? Um, what I like about this wallet is it has this uh, coin area here, so you can put you know you put different coins in there. You know you can have uh, make change of a dollar or whatever. And uh, I got pouches. Uh, I mean a card slot back here. Also another one back here. And then, uh, you know, you got your credit cards you can put back there. Uh, I just put, push, push my money down over there and 
ready to go. You know, I got some phone numbers and stuff on there. So that's that's this. It's also brown leather, very similar color to the Saddleback leather, although it's a different company altogether. But you know, this also gets a nice rich patina over time. Um, the main reason for this video was for my my keys. Uh, I got this S Beaner. I think I got this on County Con, but I've seen them in Walmart. I've seen them in a number of different places. Um, it's called. A, it's from a company called Night Eyes. This is going to come in that in the camera here. Uh, and it's a number four S Beaner, and you can take it on and off really easily. You know, it's got two different. Uh, clips. Um, what I do is my keys. I also got this on my county con as well. It's called a mechanics key ring, and you can unscrew this. And this is like an aircraft cable, and you could open it, and you know you could just take it apart if you need it. Uh, it's pretty secure. Uh, it's got a lot of flexibility to it, so you could, you know, when it's in your pocket, it doesn't make too much of a, of a racket. Um, I have this light, which is from a company called Princeton Tech. It's just a flashlight and has a carbiner on it, this side, so I can take that off. And then, you know, I used to clip it to my shirt when I was walking the dog, but now I have a different one, but I'll show you that later on. I have this, which is called a Swiss tool, a Swiss tech utility key, and that opens up and comes off the keychain, because when you open and close it, it forms a little loop there, so when you snap that shut, it locks in place around the key ring. Uh, it's got a Phillips head screwdriver on here, a bottle opener on the bottom here, uh, and if you were trying to use it like a bottle opener, you got to be careful because you're now holding a knife, and it's kind of stupid. I don't really use it for, for the knife aspect of it, although it could come in handy, you never know. It's got like a serrated bottom over here and a flat edge on that side. Uh, I have a flathead screwdriver on here and then there's a like an eyeglass size screwdriver on here this side I'm not sure why this is not coming in focus but they're very handy I've, I've tightened up many an eyeglass with these even though I don't wear them um, then I have a micro wedgie uh, pry bar I got uncounty com uh, a lot of times I've found in the past I used to use a key to like wedge a top of a paint can open or something like that and it was run the risk of snapping your key off so this is designed for that purpose. Uh, you could also use theoretically one of these as a, a, a screwdriver if you needed to I guess. Um, and there's a, you know, I guess like a nail pull or something like that or you can wedge it into something or whatever you want to do with it. It's, it comes in handy. Some people even, I've heard, sharpen them and use them as a weapon, but who needs that? Uh, next on here, I have this tweezer. I got this a long time ago from a company called Brigade Quartermasters. I don't even know if they're still in existence anymore. But it's a, it's a tweezer. And it is very precise. These little holes here make a nice little grip, and you can pick up something very, very small stuff with it, or pull a splinter out, um, pick up a small screw or something like that, or take a tick off or something like that. You know, and it's got a a keeper, and it's very secure because when when you squeeze it, there's like a little lip in here, and it snaps onto those holes there and it will not come out unless you squeeze it. So it's very secure. I have the key to my scooter, house key or garage key, 
And then I have these. I also got these on County Comp. One is a Phillips head screwdriver. And the other one is a flathead screwdriver. So I find that these come in pretty handy. So I got a number of different screwdrivers that gets on there. Here's my car keys. And what I did was I put one of these like uh, compression uh, things. So if I have to give my keys to a mechanic or something like that to work on my car, you know, I have my uh, house keys here so I can always walk home or whatever. I do not have to worry about not having my keys. All right, and then that stays on there very secure. I've had this for, geez, 20 years or so. So here's the mechanic's um, split ring, I guess they would call it, a mechanic's uh, keychain ring or something like that. And then I got your S beaner. I can just clip it on there. I, a lot of times I just clip this either on my belt or even like uh, in an awkward position. Sometimes you could just clip it onto your shirt or something like that or, you know, the side of your pocket of your jacket or something like that or any, anywhere. You know, it comes in very handy. I'll put this on later. Uh, that's the camera case. Came with that little carbiner on there. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, um, I got my flashlight. This is uh, a Phoenix LD01. I talked about this in other videos. It's a very, very nice light. Uh, I took the um, the camera had a um, it was a camera lanyard when I got the camera, and if I noticed it fits in there perfectly. I used to have a paracord wrapped around and put through this, but then it kept nodding up. So I was looking for something, and then I just happened to stumble upon this in my kitchen and I put it in and I was like, hey, it works perfect because uh, this little piece of string here seems to enable it to uh, twist around and stuff like that without really causing a knot. You know, I mean, obviously it's not a, the, the strongest thing in the world, but, you know, it helps get it out of your pocket and then you could put it on your wrist, you know, and not have to worry about dropping your light, you know. If you had your light and then you'd accidentally drop it, you have it hanging right off your wrist. I gave blood today, so that's why I'm a little out of breath. Um, I have my knife. This is my uh, Chris Reeve it's a large regular Sabenza with the buffed out handles. I like that. It's very smooth, this one, so this has been my, my main EDC knife. Uh, on there, I got the uh, Tridium fob that I got on eBay. Someone was asking me about that. It was like ten, fifteen dollars or something like that. Maybe for two, I think I got two. Uh, I got this from a guy on County on a Jersey Devil forum. He makes these, and he uh, this one doesn't have it, but the other one, well, actually, you might. I don't know. There might be a glow in the dark uh, thread in there. I never really used that little uh, skull on there. Let's see that skull. And that's that. Uh, I got my watch. It's a Casio G-Shock. It's 8:19 on the 7th of April, 2011. Um, that's on the left side of my pants. I have a BlackBerry um, Bold 9700, uh, and it's got a Cydio case that can come on or off, um, and the Cydio holster rotates, and it's got a very secure top here that will hold the top of it in once it's in, and there's like that red area there is like a, a magnet, so when you put this in and it gets close to the, oops, when it gets close to the magnetic field, it'll, uh, It'll turn off the, the phone. See that? So it'll, it'll uh, conserve the battery a bit. That's from the CDO, S E I D I O. And then I'm doing a lot of walking because I'm trying to get back into shape. I have this, which is a, I've already walked 10,135 steps today. Uh, this is from a company called Omron. I'm not sure if the model is on there or not. 
and 30. I think it means HJ303. So this clips onto your belt. And then you have this rather innovative clip, which I, really, I like it because when you bend this up, it, it forces this shut. And it stays on very securely, very surprised. But a lot of times I've been walking and just all of a sudden I'll feel something bang on my leg and it's this. So this comes in very handy. I walk every day with this. And I clip it to my belt and then I will uh, clip that little clip to one of the belt loops. And then let's see, around my neck I have my Kylie Harris's uh, micro knife. And the 01 tool steel with the micarta handle. I love this knife. This really saves my ass a lot of trouble, you know, and even my wife, we've, uh, you know, sometimes we will be eating food or something like that outside or whatever, and, you know, we need a knife, and all of a sudden pull this out, and it fits her hand nice because my hands look kind of big, and uh, fits my hand okay, and fits her hand just fine. You know, and that old one steel, I love that. Uh, on the sheath, I have the um, a flashlight underneath a piece of bicycle inner tube and then also on this side I have a, a large sewing needle uh, so, putting it in wrong. so Kylie made that sheath I got a piece of leather thong around it with a piece of uh, zip tie to hold the thong in place so that it would pull, it would uh, pull through if this ever got caught on something. This way, I wouldn't get strangulated. All right, so that's my EDC for today. Uh, I'm looking. I'm going to try to see about getting a uh, um, and one more thing for this. I, I find that this is just enough. I don't need much more than this. Uh, you know, some people have a lot of junk on theirs, and it, it really gets very very heavy. Uh, another thing is. When I have my key in the ignition of the car, you know, like if you have a lot of things on your key, um, I guess I could disconnect this, but I don't want to. I like keeping everything together. But when I have this in the ignition of the car, they say it's not a good idea to keep a lot of weight hanging on this because it it it, it torques the um, ignition cylinder on the key. I mean, on the uh, place where the key goes into, and it could uh, slowly over time damage your ignition switch and then the car won't work anymore. So it's an expensive repair. So when I have this in, usually this big yes beaner, I could put it on one of the, uh, the turn signal or something like that, or I even have a little um, plastic hook on my dashboard with a, like a sticky tape on the back of it, and I could just hang that on there. And that just supports a little bit of the weight and also keeps this from hanging down too low and hitting my leg and stuff like that while I'm driving. They don't like anything touching my leg when I'm driving. Unless it's a girl. Uh, so there's my car keys. And my whole key rig setup. Alright, so this is Trader Joe's. And hope you enjoyed my EDC video. Hopefully this will upload. I heard this is the second time I've tried this video today. And something happened with the first attempt. That's why I'm a little out of breath. Alright, aside from getting the blood. Alright. So Trader Joe's, have a good day. I'll see you on the other side.